Today, I am talking about camping in Houston. And so I've got a list of a couple of sites that are all within two hours of Houston that you can try out and kind of get your toes wet if you're working on trying to be a camping family. The first one is going to be going to Brazos Bend State Park. It's only 45 minutes away. They are well known for their alligators. So you're gonna be sleeping with the wildlife and having a great time there. They have primitive camping sites and some with electricity hookups, but for summertime, you're gonna look for a screened in porch and you're gonna look for one of those cabins that you can be at. And while you're there and take advantage of all the trails and fishing, and don't forget to stop by the Nature Discovery Center there. They have different ecosystems set up and then they always have some rangers there that sometimes will take out the reptiles and let you kind of have a little encounter with them. The observatory also recently opened up, so if you're there overnight, it's worth it to do some sort of stargazing, but those are separate tickets, so be sure to research that before you go. If you're looking for a different camping experience that also has places to cool off at and is a little more fancy, you're gonna look for the Lake Livingston on Alaska KOA. That KOA has uh, wonderful, beautiful, clean facilities. They have RV hookups, they have cabins, they have water and electricity hookups for your tents, which you know you want when you're gonna bring your fans there to cool off. But if you also need to cool off, they've got a pool and a hot tub that overlook the lake there. The lake has a 103 foot pier. If you have a watercraft, you can launch it. If you don't, don't worry. They have a swimming site roped off and a little beach roped off too. Another place that is really worth going to, especially if you want to cool off for sure, is to go to Splashway Water Park and Campground. They have what they kind of like to call a um, splash and crash. So you can go spend your day at the water park, um, which is a separate fee and then you can go to the campground at night and it is completely set up for families. They have outdoor movies, they have pedal boats, they have a stocked fishing pond, they've got volleyball, they've got everything. These people also have plenty of RV sites and they have places, uh, really nice cabins too, there too. Then of course, if you're not truly a camper but you want a taste of camping, you can do glamping and you wanna put that on your calendar for a new facility that is opening at Lake Houston called The Retreat. And so they are gonna have some wonderful things with tons of RV hookups. They're gonna have RVs you can rent if you don't really have one for yourself and you want that experience. Covered wagons that have beds and ACs in them. And then they are also going to be opening with a little more luxury things like a beer and wine garden, and then also some water and uh, other things to cool off while you're there. Now, of course, if you are intrigued by these camping ideas, but the idea of even getting out and beginning camping is a little intimidating to you because you've never done it before, there's a new company called Find Your Wild Texas, and it's TX. And they are, have some certified Texas educators who are going to be doing a whole bunch of different classes to try and get you out there and en enjoy our state. They're gonna have camping 101, we have some backpacking, foraging, nature journaling, kayak certification. The people um, at Find Your Wild Texas are gonna be able to get you comfortable so that you can go out there and experience our state and so many things. Thank you so much for having me on again and I uh, hope to see you soon. I love all of those ideas. And we actually want to see if Derek and Joe need those camping <laughs> lessons. So we're going to see if you guys can set up your own tents right here in oh, studio. Oh, so wow. Never done this we before. have a picture of what it looks like. If we can get that on the screen, you guys can see. There you go. That's okay. what you'll be setting up. Okay. So go ahead and open a, it up. We can I don't even open see it. any instructions. Is this um, a timed uh, uh, Yeah, you probably have a endeavor? little bit less than two minutes. So okay. Oh, wow. You've got about 90 seconds go oh, ahead here goes started. the instructions and while Derek and Joe go head to head at home if you want to connect with Amanda and for more information about all the spots she mentioned just check out HoustonLife.tv now let's see oh, oh at least God. the little wire bars are connected okay. yeah I was yep. gonna say at least they're connected that's the good thing about it all, all right, <laughs> this is gonna decide on who I'm gonna go camping with um you may not want to do me because I do not know what I make some really good stuff more is Lauren. Oh, that's good. Well, I know one of you will bring the wine, whoever that one is. <laughs> I'll bring the wine as well. Oh, one okay, yeah, left. let's see. All right, I oh. think my wires are falling to pieces now. I, Wait, I, how much time do we have to do about this? About 45 seconds left. Okay, okay. 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 So I think I got the top like, part of it. Let's see. All right, if you guys need... <laughs> Joe's getting stuck in there. We're going to take oh, a oh quick my. 
break, and after that, okay. a look at what's coming up on Monday's show, uh, show, including a local couple with their own HGTV show. And you don't get in sure it until it's set up. Oh, my with goodness. And Joe. Oh, my God, this is not going well. <laughs> at all. Mike will be right back. What do you mean it's not going well? <laughs> hey. Derek is getting his in. This looks good.